Okay, just <clears throat> making another video. Time of recording. I don't want to live, but I have to. Or at the very least, I feel like I have to. And I'm just gonna be honest, man. I just don't feel like <laughs> I don't feel like living, but I'm too afraid to die to go through that. I, you know, I don't want to like take my own life or anything because there are people around me who are going to get affected and I just don't want to do that I don't want to kill myself but at the same time I don't want to live either it is just like a very it's like a place where you, you feel like you, it's just you just like see, I don't want to be a bio bot which is what I am um to be a consciousness battery uh used to feed other non-human intelligence addictions <laughs> this is what I feel like we are. <clears throat> we live in it. We live on or in a prison planet that is controlled by aliens and other stupid humans. Ignorant humans, maybe. Uh. Um. That is a farm for farming human and other animal consciousnesses. I don't think there's any great purpose or meaning to life beyond being a um, uh, some kind of a food. <laughs> We are being farmed for our consciousnesses, and we are, uh, and they created us in such a way that we will reproduce and then we will uh, flourish and multiply because we are like artificial. If you think about an artificial, we are like one of the, one of the highest form of AI because we have a will an internal will will to live and to flourish and by doing that it's like you're you're doing exactly what you were created to do which is to flourish and multiply and create more consciousnesses and these consciousnesses are being fed on by these non-human intelligences these interdimensional aliens whatever you want to call them but we are being farmed. All right. We humans are being farmed for loose. This is what I think is happening. This is what's happening. When we die, we go back to being the universe again. Each human being is a mini universe. Each human being is a mini universe. We are made up of matter energy, which is our bodies. Uh, energy, which is our bodies, and consciousness, which is what the which is what the aliens feed on. Uh, 
And this kind of sucks. I feel like I figured out what life is about. We're just we we are uh, we are um being farmed. I mean, I didn't figure this out. I mean, other people have figured it out, but I agree with this theory. It makes the most sense. Well, it, yeah. I mean, it didn't make. I just don't see the why why we should be on planet Earth. I just <laughs> I don't see the point of life. I don't see the point of life. I can't think of any other reason than that we are being created and propagated as a species in order to feed someone else's addictions. Now, why did the, now who created these other beings? I don't know. I don't know who created them. I don't know how, how they came into existence. And then why did the, who created the universe? The only way I can answer that is by saying the universe always existed. It existed. In, 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 in. I don't know about this. The universe isn't just matter and energy. There is an invisible consciousness aspect to the universe. You know, there's a, there's a part that we cannot see with our brains or with our perceptions. Our human perceptions can only see some a particular dimension of reality. But other beings can perceive other dimensions because it's a different frequency of consciousness. It's not hard to understand. A cat sees reality, which is very different to what a human sees reality. We, we might share some aspects of reality. A cat and a dog and a human can see this maybe aspects of this physical world, but um, I think there are parts that uh, that uh, they can perceive non-physical or something that 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 we can't. I don't know what how a cat perceives the, the reality. I don't know what it's like to feel like a to be a cat or a dog. I only know how it feels to be a human, and I only know how it feels to be the individual human that I am. So, and there are other beings that perceive reality using their own consciousnesses. You know, it's, that's not a very difficult concept to understand that we have different perceptions of reality based on how we are made. And I think there are, you know, Consciousness is something that's invisible. You can't see consciousness, but you, but you feel it. And that, and, that, and that itself is data. Just because, you, just because you can't see it under a microscope doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Because this is the limitations of science. Science can only analyze a particular dimension of reality, which is the visible reality. That's the only thing science can understand. But there are other parts of this reality thing that that exist but we cannot measure it or quantify it but we, we perceive to be very much real because if I exist and I know I exist then you know who am I I am this thing that exists uh, at this present moment, yes, I am a human consciousness. So, but when my body ceases to be, my human consciousness, I think, ceases to be. But who I am is like I am like a a mini universe, a bubble. Some people call it a black hole. If you think of a black hole, there's an event horizon that separates what's inside the black hole from what's outside. So you can think of your individual consciousness like an event horizon. Like there is a separation between you and the universe. And this is the illusory self, the individual consciousness. It's a, you create a bubble. Right? But when, when we die, the bubble ceases to be and we, we become part of the universe. When we die, the, the bubble ceases to be. But who we are... It's like our consciousness expands to fill 
all of creation and we become at one with all that there is. That death is moving into a state where you become at you expand and fill all of eternity. I feel like it death is like a uh 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 liberating kind of thing in a way. You become the universe. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm here in this body and I, I, you know, I feel like, I feel like I have a mission to, to tell people this. So, so they understand what's going on and should we be creating new human beings so they can be used as slaves to feed the addictions of other aliens and whatnot should we be perpetuating this system of oppression and slavery I don't think there's anything good going on on planet earth you have to be deluded to, to be happy <laughs> anyone who's happy is, is actually living in some kind of a the the perception of reality is very you have to it's it's you have to limit your perception or ignore certain parts of the world in order to be happy and happiness is kind of like a, a, a it's a born out of ignorance either willful ignorance or uh, actual ignorance um I don't think, and that, and that, no, no, that's not real. That's not living in the real world. Uh, what to do? I mean, I'm here, I'm alive. I, I, I might as well tell people how things are so they don't perpetuate a system of slavery. Consciousness is real. I am very real. I exist. I just don't want to be. I don't want to. I don't want to create. I don't want. I don't want to be trapped in this body. These people are doing this horrible thing of creating these, using the technology of DNA to to to, to bind and capture consciousness and then hold it in this form just so they can feed on our consciousness frequencies oh I'm drinking coffee <laughs> um yeah this kind of sucks well, what can you do i mean i mean I'm, I'm i guess i could make it my my life mission to tell people about this so they don't uh, so they can tell people. I think I think information is the way to defeat the system. Is to awaken people. Awakening people is to share information. I think the information I'm sharing, which is not really, I didn't make it up. I'm, I I found it like by thinking about it, my life experience, by listening to what other people have to say. It's the the only way we're going to defeat the system is by sharing information. Talking about it, talking about it, sharing information is to defeat the oppressive system that is planet Earth in this dimension of reality. You're, we, are, we are living in a loose farm. <laughs> That's the most concrete way of putting it. Uh, it's, it sounds very crude, but probably, the, the, it's probably what's going on. We're living in a, we're being farmed for a consciousness. We're not being farmed for our bodies, we're being farmed for our consciousnesses. And the matrix is to... Uh, anyone who thinks consciousness is not real is just not living in the real world. 
these scientists have to really start waking up because they just they, their paradigm is just like it, they you can only go so far. Uh, there's a thing called a holographic holographic brain or mind. You know, the, there was apparently there was this man born somewhere, and he, he he like most of his brain was sort of like um he born he was born with some kind of a c condition, and then the doctors did some kind of surgery on him, and then when when he grew up, most of he lost a lot, most of his brain, but he was still conscious, and that sort of disproves the idea that our parts you know a part of our brain perform specific functions no it's not like your prefrontal cortex left but no 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 it doesn't work that way because you can lose you can lose all of those parts of your brain and only have a very small part of it and you can still be far you can ha this guy had an iq of 70 something he, he had a job he had he was conscious so he didn't die <laughs> because he lost most of his brain or different lobes or whatever so that's like an evidence that your brain is not your brain isn't like creating consciousness it's, it's like uh your brain is sort of like consciousness exists outside of your brain and your brain is simply tuning in or filtering or creating a, a certain kind of type of consciousness so if humans have it Human DNA creates a human consciousness. Uh, cat DNA creates cat consciousness. But the consciousness itself is like it's like a field. It's your, your, think of it like you're moving through a field that's all around you, and your your body your it is tuned into into a particular consciousness, and your perception of reality is the human perception, the individual human perception of reality is what your brain and body is tuning into, you know? It's like it's like a wireless internet. It's all around you, but if you if you have a computer with a network card, you can tune into that frequency and our brains are like that. This consciousness field is all around us and we're tuning into a particular frequency called the human consciousness frequency. Does that make sense a little bit more? Yeah.